welcome back to Glen Marsden and I'm just pulling out of the farm with a pretty heavily loaded grain truck. Um, between videos, obviously stopped work due to the weather for the plowing, but then set the server up so that um, the guys could do some contracting. So did a bit of magic so that the weather wasn't so grim and a, I think, three barley harvesting contracts have been done and I'm just delivering the last of the barley to complete those and then we can collect them and then I'm going to skip ahead to October and hopefully the weather will be favourable for finishing ploughing. Right, this was just as you know, generally when we've got lots of harvesting contracts active, it's better to deliver to the farm because we have a big enough silo to do that and then uh, deliver it all at the end. Just, just, just seems to work better. So that's what was done, and I ended up we end up not doing all of the contracts in the box. This is the last time that barley can be harvested, so I cancelled a few off. And uh, this will complete what was able to get done. So we'll get this tipped and then we'll see how much money we are going to make from the contracts. I'm not sure how much excess crop we've got. You no, know, we've got 86,000 litres of barley in the silo and all of that grain is from doing contracts. So pretty good. My plan, as I've said before, is to mix that into grain mix and sell it. We will need to buy some more wheat to be able to do that, but that's not a problem. Um, the the grain mill will sell us some excess wheat, so that'll be okay. We just pull forwards, and we will tip last in. Should be enough to finish the contract if my maths was correct. There we go. So sell a little bit. Um, and then we have, what's that, 12, about 14 grand in contract income. I'll stick up on the screen now. There were a couple of little, um, seeding contracts that got done that brought in a little bit more money as well. And there are a few more to get done over the next month or so. So future me will see you in a bit to do some plowing. Change of plan. We are actually going to be harvesting the potatoes. So because it's the next month, the potato field is ready to harvest. Um, we need to repair and refuel the harvester first, but we should be okay because you can harvest root crops in the rain. So hopefully we can uh, get these or start getting these potatoes lifted. It's a reasonable size field for, what, for the, the, the harvest that we've got. Um, this is the KS6B, if you're curious. Um, I don't remember where I downloaded it now. I've got a video somewhere on the channel when it was released because it's one of my favourite mods in the game from FS19 onwards. I think they just did a straight port from FS19, so it's all the old textures and stuff, but I don't care. This is such a cool little piece of kit, particularly, you know, on a smaller scale farm and you want to do root crops this is what you go to or well, for me anyway um at least until we get the premium dlc and we get root crops that we probably won't be able to harvest with this thing so yeah when when that dlc comes i probably will use some of the kit from the dlc even if it's not quite era appropriate so that we can do those extra crops on here um really gonna try and do them on every save so Let's get stuck in to harvesting the potatoes. Um, or, or not. Um, so yeah, mud system is uh, is hampering us here. But in, realistically, we're only two wheel drive. So yeah. Let's see if putting traction control and diff locks on helps at all. Let's get the four wheel drive on. Again, you know, the, the front wheels shouldn't really be driven, probably, but even so. 
makes zero difference. So we're just going to wait for better weather. Um, because we're stuck, pretty much. So I'm going to get out of the pile of mud. Go grab a coffee or something. And uh, we'll come back when the rain has passed. It's not the biggest field in the world, but actually even getting out of the field is proving challenging, so... And this is why I added the mud system, mud mod. Um, there we go. Much better. I didn't want to always be able to do everything all of the time. We are on a map where weather is a factor. You know, it's got Scottish weather. We're going to have to deal with that. It's October. It's going to rain a lot, so just got to deal with it and work around it doesn't you know just it just adds to the challenges so this is supposed to be a hard mode let's play and a lot of other stuff is not hard now um you know financially we're in a good position we've got many sources of income just checking the growth of the grass the really the only you know that it's hard in terms of the value we the things that we sell are, um, are worthless not worthless but worthless because we're on hard mode so we get the hard price multiplier and that's kind of it really you know we're doing things manually a lot of the time that kind of thing but the the, the real difficulty we had at the start with you know not being able to afford everything has kind of been eased and a lot of that comes from the fact that we're able to get through a lot more contracts with having people help out. So, yeah, actually, at this point, I'm going to say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members. Let's do it right up front because the patrons are a big part of this series. So, yeah, appreciate all of you guys supporting the channel. Just grabbing my pen and paper to make a note of that. And I found a soggy spot on the table. It's from a cold drink. For you weirdos, start thinking whatever. Yeah. So we're going to get the potatoes harvested today. It's going to be pretty much it because it's going to take us quite a while. It's not the biggest harvester in the world. Let's talk about harvesters and root crops and the DLC. So I mentioned in the, the Valley of the Old Farm video and I show it in the Fact Sheet Friday video. I've been looking at the Dwarf website for what the real kit looks like and how the real kit behaves, particularly for the things we haven't seen fact sheets for yet. And I think on this save, the ones that are going to be really cool are the three point mounted ones. So while we unload in the background, I'm going to load up the, the Wolf website and I'm going to see if I can find some of them. Um, I don't remember the um mounted there we go um so yeah we've got the p3k profi and the p3cl profi i think are the ones that are coming and if i'm really good in the editing of this video i'll bung a couple of pictures up on here from the website I think they look really cool and I think they're going to make for a lot of challenging but fun gameplay. Um, so they are, I think they're all single row, but they're various ones. There's one, there's a mounted one that does the boxing, like some of the other ones. There are mounted ones that just have a lifting belt to lift up into a trailer. So, yeah, well. I, I think they will fit on here really well. They're, they're modern bits of kit, but you know, in the limitations that we have, that there aren't going to be old mods available for that kind of thing. I think they're going to be perfect, and they're going to be really good for doing bits with multiplayer. And they're going to be really good, you know, if not hopefully course play and auto drive. Well, auto drive mostly will want to work. It might be that they need to update auto drive to work with them, you know. But I think they're going to work a lot like a sugarcane harvester, I guess. An auto drive can sort of work with a sugarcane harvester, so we should be okay. 
Oh, yeah, I, I think they're going to be a lot of lot of fun, interesting to work with. We've got the um, the ridging or the helling. I'm wondering, I suspect they won't, but I'm wondering if it might be that if you've got the DLC active, you can use that for potatoes as well, because potatoes are planted in ridges. You can just about see the one-dimensional ridges or two-dimensional ridges under there. Um, and they're, they're still going to be two-dimensional. They're not going to be three-dimensional. Um, for everyone that says, well, Storm Runner or Snow Runner or Snow Runner has, you know, deformable train and that kind of thing, and I think they have farming now. It's a different type of game, you know. Um, you've just seen with me with the very simple mud mod getting stuck. If you want that, you can have it. Um, do you really want your computer to have to, have to be deforming a? 3d terrain mesh as you drive over it as the weather affects it and moving all the crops if you do then head on over to your favorite computer purchasing site order yourself a latest high-end processor order yourself a 4090 and when you've spent a good three grand then go talk to giants um don't expect that to work on your consoles and you might sell but you know snow runner has deformable train and is on console bits of it are deformable and i don't think you can change those bits whereas with a farm sim map you can turn most of the map depending on how the map's been set up into farmland so all of it has to be able to do that yeah it's not gonna happen um for me, it doesn't take away from the game. You know, not having the terrain to form under me really doesn't affect my experience of playing Farm Sim at all. Um, so, yeah. I know some people are really, why don't we have it? And the reason is, you, you still want Farm Sim to work on a console? You still want Farm Sim to work on your average computer? Then... This is what we have. Uh, yeah. You have to bear in mind, you know, I mean, Giants used their own game engine. Pretty sure they used their own game engine anyway, which, you know, they'd have to implement it. And it's, I want to say it's because the game's doing different things to most other games. Uh, and maybe you could do it in one of the standard game engines, but there's the whole thing that, you know, Unreal Engine which a lot of games used to use was essentially free and now it's not going to be so you know do giants pay another company for a game engine that's not specifically designed for a farming game or do they develop one that's specifically designed for a farming game and yeah so I think for me it doesn't really matter it'd be really cool if you could drive through puddles and stuff and have water splash and spray but once you've done it once or twice does it matter but same with the formable train, I think, you know, once you've you've done it for a few months, because, you know, let's be honest, we all play farm sim a lot. Are you really going to notice it then? I'm going to say probably not. Probably not. I've no idea how I got onto this topic. Anyway, we're, we're, we're cracking on with the field. I ran, I think I ran four headlands at the other end of the field and a couple up here because we've got a decent amount of turning space apart from where someone's abandoned the tractor and i should say that i'm not running um auto drive to cart i've got the 8410s at each end of the of the field i've taken the extensions off the trailers because we're putting potatoes in and basically every so often either every run or every other run i tip into a trailer and i just could keep going like that and get the field harvested and i guess in a way there's a benefit that we're keeping the pretty heavy tractors and trailers off the field so no compaction um so that's a plus we're just running the harvester and it's quite a small harvester so it's not particularly heavy so that's cool and i think you know, thinking about this save and what i was saying about the uh the wolf kit that we're getting you know, running one of those three-point mounted harvesters 
with tractors and trailers in the field. I think that'll be that'll be how we do this. I think that will work really well for the scale of farming that we're doing. So I have I mentioned at the start that there's a bunch of other contracts available. There were even more when I skipped to October because new crops are ready. So field eight next to us is ready to harvest. We can't afford to buy it yet but there is a fairly chunky harvesting contract on there and uh, if anyone from DS Agri is feeling particularly enthusiastic it's there it's there there's also a whole bunch of um, probably more profitable soybean harvesting contracts and corn um, it would be quite nice actually if we got some excess corn and I'm buying the grain mill anyway or the starter mill we could then turn that into CCM for the cow. So even more feed, basically, which I think would be very cool. But there, there, there's lots of contracts, basically. And so this is one of the last jobs we've got to do for the year. There's no... I don't think we've got any planting to do... Actually, this field might need planting... I need to check the crop rotation. There should be a field of wheat or barley going in. I need to check that. But we're going to have a, a cut of grass to do and then, you know, field prep for next year mostly. So probably we can be focusing on getting contracts done. And so this video was going to be some of the contracting work, but the bits that I did, I just kind of was chilling out playing and I didn't want to record it so I've shown a lot of combine harvesting lately there's a lot more combine harvesting to do on Saxthorpe still so I thought I'd skip skip showing you that skip ahead to October I actually had thought we would be doing the plowing but the potatoes are ready so let's get them out of the ground and uh, the plowing can wait we're not planting in that field until spring so probably want to do it before winter really sets in because the ground will freeze i miss that feature of seasons i miss that feature of seasons so this is going to be maybe another whinge i don't know it, it's it's my thoughts on things so i did the maze plus companion mods video and i had a really good comment it's kind of a reoccurring comment up here a lot of these features should be base game and my response to that is always look at what happened to seasons um, you know we had the full seasons mod in fs19 with all of the stuff that came with it and now we have seasons light which is basically growth and weather um yeah so i i i don't want you know and yes i'm involved in maze plus and things like that but i don't want those things to be completely taken over by giants because I like what they are as mods and I would be afraid that the giants would try and water them down and I don't want maze plus light I don't want enhanced animal system light and some of the features in enhanced animal system should 100% be in the game we should have male and female animals we should have animals dying i know that's part of the rating but you know we should have breeding all of that stuff i i think um but giants made the decision they made the and so I, I i quite often say actually that i feel that base game farm sim is set up to be almost quite arcadey you know you have you buy a cow and it does cow things um and if you so say i think it's designed with quite a low bar of entry into playing the game and then obviously if you're on pc you can rely on mods to push that complexity and realism up but there's no option if you're on console to do that um and i think that's an, you know it's something that maybe I would like to see in if we get if it's fs25 whatever the next fs is i would like to see them bring in options for complexity 
so that people playing on console, if they want to play the more complex version of the game, they can. Because at the moment, their options are really limited if they want to crank the difficulty up. You know, if they want to think about, you know, take like on here, my animals are getting to a certain age, I need to think about cycling them through. Um, I, my, my bulls getting, it doesn't matter so much with, with it, but you know, my, my breeding animals are getting old, I need to get in fresh stock. Um, my dairy cows are getting to the point where their production is going to drop off so how do I manage the herd all that kind of stuff um, and you just don't have the option on console and as a console player sometimes uh, you know I kind of feel for that now I, I'm getting a bit more of a perception of uh, not really I'm trying to make this much deeper than I, than I really than it really is I think the base game needs options for complexity in FS25 or whatever the next version is. Um, we need more of the seasons features included in the base game. That's it really. I, I think the game as delivered is too simple. I guess more, more precision farming, more of that, even if it's as DLCs. You know, if, if, whether that's paid DLCs or free DLCs, so people have the option. Um, you know, I I dislike forestry. You guys know that. What if they'd put the money they spent into developing the forestry stuff for platinum into developing a more complex animal system? And, you know, it came with, I guess that's harder to get sponsorship for. Um, but, you know, if rather, you know, because obviously Volvo and things were big, probably big sponsors of the DLC. I don't know. I don't know whether Giants paid Volvo or Volvo paid Giants or whether it was mutual. Um, but if you think that kind of thing versus, you know, there, there are brands for animal stuff. You could have all the trailers, all sorts of stuff, you know. I, I just think that would have been better. But that's how I like to play. Other people like to do forestry. So you know, I think that I find that quite obvious, maybe from, you know, you go on Facebook and quite often there are people looking for service. Like I, I, I'll do anything, but I like forestry or I'll do anything, but I want to drive a truck. Um, so that kind of thing maybe makes me think, actually, probably there is a much interest in it is not for me so all that talk i was saying about compaction and keeping traps out the field we just can drive straight across the middle of the field because we can so it took most of the day to get these harvested the repair gauge is because the trailer's damaged not the tractor but we got a decent amount off i'm not exactly sure how much we got because the precision farming yield is showing the yield from all the other stuff we got off the other half of the field as well at the moment but we've got a decent pile of potatoes and that's going to be going into the cow's feed again. We have had run out for a while, but this will give us a nice stock for winter and probably probably through the year. Actually, it might be that we sell some. We really don't need that many. Um, yeah, we don't need that many. I wouldn't have thought anyway, because we're using I think we was using at most 1500 litres a mix, so we might use say 3000 litres a day. We do two mixes in a day. Yeah, I don't think we'll get through that all, particularly with like zero grazing and stuff. So, yeah, maybe we'll sell a couple of trailer loads when the price gets better. Time saving stock check doesn't help with that because they're not in a silo. Or a bunker. If I put them in a bunker, it might it might pick them up then, but not on the ground. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button. Any comments, questions, suggestions, stick them below, and I'll see you next time.